it's a set here. I just woke up, as you can see. We don't even have to say the words. It's universally understood that a glow up needs to occur. Okay, your girl's been looking rough the past couple days. I'm ready to transform. I'm ready to feel cute again. I'm also super excited because this video is sponsored by Kate Spade New York and they have the cutest spring 2022 collection. So with all that being said, let's get started with the transformation. So I'm starting off with skincare and first I'm gonna wash my face. I have a few like weird dry patches and so I'm just going in with this enzyme scrub and it's just a really gentle exfoliator to help just exfoliate my skin and make it all smooth. I cannot remember the last time that I whitened my teeth. It has been a minute because I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately and I noticed that my teeth were not as white. So I was like, you know what? I gotta bring out the whitening trays. And then I'm just gonna use a face mask. I always love using clay-based masks because it helps to detox and clean out your pores. shower I'm finally working on this hair and it is very much bedhead so I'm gonna do my shampoo and condition in reverse so I'm first going in with the conditioner to detangle and then I'm gonna use my shampoo to be able to clean my scalp just so that I'm not like shampooing over tangles because that's just a nightmare to come out and then after I'm using a conditioner again just so that my hair can actually be moisturized after the shampoo Rinsing off my face mask, and I'm just gonna wash my body and do all my other shower stuff. Once I'm out the shower, I'm just applying all my skincare products, my lotions, and like my acne treatments. And I almost forgot that I still had these whitening trays in, but I feel like they definitely did something. For my outfit, I want you guys to leave a comment down below which one is your favorite because I'm gonna do a few different outfits. But this is the spring 2022 collection from Kate Spade, New York. This first bag that I'm gonna style is the Penny Floral Garden Small Hobo Bag. It's in black multi and it has these really pretty flowers on it. It has light pink, blue, even some yellow flowers and it's just very, very, very spring. For this outfit, I wanted to play up the pinks that were in the bag, so I went with this really cute pink knit cardigan, just with some simple jeans and these really cute blue shoes. This fabric is their signature gorgeous floral garden jacquard. It has leather straps and you can wear it on your shoulder, you can wear it like kind of in your arm, or you could just have it in your hand and carry it. For my second outfit, matching with my handbag, this is the Voyage Solid Small Top Handle. It's in the color Sun Glow. This is such a beautiful shade of yellow. It gives a pop of color to any outfit. It's leather and it could be held in your hand or also as a crossbody. It has a strap that it comes with. And for my outfit, I found this shirt that's literally the exact same shade as the purse, which I thought was crazy. And it's super cute, it has these flowers on it matched with these loose flare khaki pants and just some cute nude heels. And for the last and final outfit and handbag, this is another Voyage small top handle, but this one is wicker. So it has this really cool woven pattern. It's like a wicker, kind of like wooden situation. It's kind of giving me like picnic vibes. <laughs> So I came up with this denim on denim fit and it's different shades of denim which really like match with the purse because it has this navy top and matching with some light brown suede heels. But these are all the outfits. I feel like they turn out so freaking cute. Make sure to explore the new spring collection in store and on katespade.com. For my hair, I'm starting off with a leave-in conditioner just to moisturize my hair. And I don't know, I was just trying to figure out what I could do that was quick, but still like chic, you know? The curls are fun, but do you ever feel like sometimes it's just not the vibe to have the curls out? I don't know, maybe it's just me. And I put my hair not in a super high ponytail, but more of just like a regular like mid ponytail. I'm taking out my edges and I'm swooping them with my edge control. 
I'm adding some gel and I'm creating just a regular three strand braid. My hair is getting kind of long, so this was a little bit difficult, but I just wrapped my hair into a tiny little ballerina bun and put on my little ponytail and this is my hair. I have been getting so many questions about how I've been doing my makeup lately and honestly I've been doing a few key things different and I feel like it honestly is like the best that it's ever looked. The first thing that I do different is I make my eyebrows thicker and I make them more straight so I try to not have too much of an arch. I'm also going in with my bronzer and my crease just to be able to add some dimension to my eyes but I'm going in with different shades of brown just to intensify it and to blend out the bronzer shade. For my lids, I'm packing on a color that's very similar to my skin tone just to kind of add some shadow there and that's literally all the eyeshadow. So for my eyeliner, I've also been doing my eyeliner different and I've been making my eyeliner like as straight as possible. Makeup is all about illusions, so I've been basically trying to create more of like an almond eye shape. Popping on some false lashes and I'm just gonna do my foundation as normal, adding concealer to my nose, under my eyes, and a little bit on my chin. Blending this out with a beauty sponge and then going in just with my translucent powder and just packing this under my eyes and then just kind of lightly dusting it all over my face. I'm taking that same bronzer that I use as my eyeshadow and just applying this, you know, typically where I would bronze. And for my blush, I saw this hack where you actually apply blush like higher on your cheekbone, like kind of where you would typically put a highlight. And for my lips, I'm just lining them with a medium brown pencil, a nude lipstick right on top. And for a little bit more color, I'm applying this orangey lip stain right kind of like in the center of my lips and finishing off with a really pretty lip gloss. And now that the makeup's done, all I have to do is change into my outfit. And I decided on outfit number two, which literally matches perfectly to my Kate Spade New York handbag. And with this, I'm ready to take some cute pics and I'm ready to be seen. I need to go out in public. I need someone to see this look. This is the final glow up transformation. I am in love with this look. I'm in love with the makeup. I'm in love with everything right now. I needed this to just, you know, sometimes you just need to feel cute, you know, just, you just need that in your soul. But if you want to see the other outfits styled with my hair, makeup, done everything, then make sure to head over to my Instagram at Lisette. Like this ponytail, I'm just, you walk and you just gotta be like, also, another huge thank you to Kate Spade New York for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, then please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.